Hello and welcome to my recording session. Who am I? Let me introduce myself. My name is Alexander. I am a freelancer out of Germany. Here you have my contact information and my Android app, which you can install if you wish and get in touch with me. So what kind of services do I provide? I provide software development for my clients. I do automatic unit tests. I make sure that the requirements of the project as a client uh, wish. And I help companies to improve this quality of the software. And another service which I provide, I help students and unemployed people with skills to get hired in German companies. So if you're interest, interested in my services, just contact, uh, write me an email, send me a letter and here we go. So I will discuss right now the current progress of my game which I develop. This is a game, is a turn-based strategy game and I start another prototype which I created today at the end of the week and I discussed what I achieved today. So as you can clearly see I have built a so-called hibernation room it's pretty rough prototype, but anyhow, all assets are provided from Unity. Some of them I got for free from other internet sources, but uh, the sources which I use, they allow me to use it in my game. So, uh, what was major challenge to doing this such scene? Well. There were no free hibernation room pods, actually hibernation pods, and I was kind of puzzled how I will go about this challenge. I used some assets from Unity. Actually, most most of this part it's all from Unity. And one thing which I did change it, I took one of the prefab and then in Blender cut the wires, so to speak, and allowed to have an entrance. And uh, other things which I have done, but the challenge was because I have no previous experience with Blender to cut all of the steel rods to get nice entrance into the box but uh, i say that was major challenge and i spent a lot of time with blender today and blender is a great tool but some somebody who wish to, to do this professionally should some spend some time on learning how to work with blender so this is like on my next to-do list and it's a pretty rough prototype and my work continues. I'm currently looking for suitable SVN server to make a deployment on site so that I have my own local storage for the, for the game which I develop. So if you're interested and you can provide some services to me, well, let's get together, let's do some work. And basically that's it, it's a pretty small update, but anyhow it's pretty crucial for me because another, another milestone was reached and Unity as a part of my main engine doing great job. I easily update from one old version of Unity to a newer version because why not? So and people who use Unity the long-term support type of Unity engine and I'm using only long-time support engine because it's bug-free, it's easy, it's fun to use and anyhow the experience is great, the Unity support is great, helped me a lot if I have some problems or questions and it's continuous. So thank you for watching and I hope you to see again if you like this video, please hit this bell, bell button, subscribe to my channel and stay tuned. Another work is coming. Thank you, thank you, thank you.